Yemen is a poor country, with one of the world's lowest school enrollment rates for girls. In this traditional society, parents are reluctant to send them to schools located far from home. The social custom of early marriage also forces many girls to drop out while still in primary school. Early marriage in the cities is not as common as it is in the rural areas. In the countryside, we might have 60 girls in the first grade. And by the sixth grade, there are only four or five. They all get married early. I was first married at the age of 11. I was still a child. When I saw the duties I had to perform in marriage, I ran away back to my family. Now in her late 20s, Kahilia works as a teacher in a desert community near the Red Sea. She remembers how her forced marriage wrenched her away from school and her dream to be educated. I went through a period when I was almost nothing, living only to eat and drink. I had no goals to live for. But when I returned to school, I started to feel I had a purpose. Kahilia has become a crusader for girls' education in her community. Drawing on her own experience, she makes a powerful plea for girls to delay marriage until after they have completed secondary school. Her message is getting through. Yemen is one of more than 50 countries now participating in UNICEF-assisted girls' education programs. Investing in girls' education is a matter of life and death, according to the World Bank. The more schooling a woman has, the greater her children's chances of survival. Educated mothers marry later and are more likely to send their own daughters to school. At home with her children, Kahilia takes special care to help her daughters with their homework. In project areas, girls' enrollment in primary classes has already tripled. Kahilia says Yemen needs more village schools and female teachers in rural areas. My female colleagues and I always say we should set a good example. We must show them we can be educated, bring up a new generation and still hold on to our religion. Yeah, this one is okay. Eh? You count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this girl has how many teeth? Sixteen. Sixteen on top and down? Sixteen. This child has got how many teeth? Thirty-two teeth. We're focusing on girls and girls' education because it is estimated that of the 130 million children worldwide who don't have access to school, two-thirds are girls. And the basic reason is discrimination. Parents think the boys should get an education, or they keep the girls at home to do the chores, or they're forced into work or early marriage. Now there's some good news. We're working in over 50 countries with the governments and with civil society in programs to provide greater access to quality education for girls. And there are more girls going to school today.
but the gap still exists and it has to be closed.